Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video today. I'm going to be doing the Northern Negotiators, which is the brand new event that just came out. And I'm just doing stuff on Master, so it's not going to be too hard because it's literally just being able to auto stuff, but hey, that's what this event is. I'm also being very careful not to crazy jostle my uh, HDMI. <laughs> Because I need to get a new connector thingy. I need to get, man... My current setup is so hard for me to record anything that I run through HDMI cables and USB-C connectors so quickly. So by the way, if you want to... I've been basically trying to record this video for the past three hours, so... If you want to make me feel better about, you know, to show that my efforts are not going to waste, you should leave a like. Uh, comment and subscribe and tell me how you doing. I don't know. Um, we're still waiting for the brand new... Um, Unit info for Joheim and Noel. It seems pretty Joheim. Joheim. That's how you say his name, I think. Um, it seems pretty clear based on the story that he's going to be a new mana caster. What element for mana casters? It's going to be revealed pretty soon. Um, I believe you fight light and you fight wind dudes here. Does that sound right? Does that sound right to me? Let me see. I can just look here. Okay, so. Chances are one of them will be wind and one of them will be shadow. Um, I'm gonna guess real quick that Noel is going to be shadow because you don't wanna have, I guess, contradicting color. You really don't wanna have contradicting colors. Take this as someone who is a fan of Mim. Uh, and can't use two mims on the same team. You do not want your characters to share the same element. It just super sucks. Um, Luca fans know that hardcore because all three Lucas are light. They didn't even bother to give Luca a completely different color. It really does annoy me because in theory, if you have a favorite character, you want him to be across all the elements, all five elements. So you could in theory use your favorite character on every single one of the team. Every single team. Uh, at least that's how I think they should be making the game. I think it's a waste to have a character be the same element. Um, un unless they were, they were previously a 3 star and then they become a 5 star, but either way, if they're your favorite character in general, you would in theory would be using that 3 star regardless and no, I think it'd be better for them to not um, double up on colors for one character. Until at least they've released four other <laughs> versions of them, that is. Um, I don't know, that's how I specifically feel about it. Um, I wonder how they're gonna do. I don't know if I'm going to be crazy summoning, but just because I haven't really talked about it um, for good reason. I wonder if they're gonna be able to auto battle this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, run, I'm gonna run it. I don't know if they're gonna be able to do it. I'll try and keep an eye on it. Um, we're getting our, our fourth collab was announced. It's gonna be Princess Connect. <laughs> Uh, Princess Connect event is coming at the end of November, so it's really weird though because it seems like they learned a lesson from Mega Man, so the character is one, the only character from, I don't know who the, it's a princess from Princess Connect. She's coming to the game. Uh, she's not free to play though. Uh, she's Banner, which already makes me go like, what? Okay. But she's the only one coming to Banner. So it's like, wait, what? I don't... I don't understand the reasoning behind that, of her being the only character from uh, that specific series to make it over. It seems weird to me, and it seems kind of a waste that... Uh, why not include more characters from Princess Battle Connect, um, whatever it's called. Let's see other side games gotcha, so forgive me. It's not, it's not a disrespect on the game, it's just literally, I just, I'm unfamiliar with it. I understand it's extremely popular. I'm not coming from this from... Um, like one of those dudes who I've seen, uh, saying like, oh, this is the most unhype collab. It's not personally hype for me, but a collab is a collab, man. And as long as they continue to make new collabs, I think that's cool. Um, poo-pooing something just because you don't like it would be dumb. There were plenty of people who didn't like Mega Man and they accepted that, that shitty Mega Man event. So guess what? I'm just going to live in the moment. And I'm going to love and enjoy the fact that we're getting princesses to the game. More princesses is always good. I have to go over here and stop these fucking wolves. Because they, they want to try and mess with my house. Welcome to my house, Flowrider style. Um, 
So I'm very, I'm, I'm saving up for her specifically, uh, just because. But it, the other thing, the re the other reason it's weird is because she's not limited. So what? So I feel like 100, percent um, especially with the story event now, a lot. Of, it's obvious that her um, Colette banner is going to be a gala banner. I think anyone can see that coming. Um, the question is, is that what is the gala unit that's going to come with it? A lot of people are kind of speculating because they want it to be. I don't think they actually have any basis on the idea of it being him. A lot of people want it to be Leonidas because he showed up in the story, but based off of this story event right here, I'm going to say it's actually going to be Chell. And they are not going to release Leonidas for an extremely long time. Why, you ask? Well, because one, he's a dude unit, and dude units have been... Dude units in Jigalia are infamous, infamously shortchanged. That's just the way the game is. It's like, it, the way of Gacha is waifu. He's not really waifu. He is husbando, but that ends up being... Oh, God. Can you fucking stop? Can you bit pieces of shit dogs stop coming over here? God. Even with auto, it doesn't make sense to me, the auto in this, because the AI doesn't actually protect the fucking homestead. So they let... If you let them... I've seen them almost completely lose because they let um, the little dogs go to the end of the base. Um, but whatever. Some auto is better than- Look at that! Look at that incredibly fucking stupid AI! Completely missing this guy over here. Whatever. Now we can take him out. I do like that they added this. That's, it's a good addition. I think this makes it a little bit easier for someone like me. You still kind of gotta pay attention to it, at least on Master, I think. Uh, because again, you can lose by them just attacking the homestead. That sucks. He's dead. He's dead, Jim. Wow. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of my thoughts on the whole collab thing. So I am saving. So I don't know if I'm going to be summoning on this banner. I'll definitely look at it. Um, the reason I'm not going to be potentially summoning is, one, I need a break, man. There's just too many bones. And not enough tickets. They've really... They've really nerf the amount of tickets you get and this this shitty event right here i don't make me for i have not forgotten and of course i'd lose the connection brb because i have no idea how long this is gonna fucking take now okay it's back this look at that warmite 75 warmite gotta be out of your fucking mind they're out you know what 75 warmite gives me nothing it gives me nothing. Not when I have... Look at this. Look at my grand total. How much did that 75 give me? Nothing! It costs 250 to do a fucking single. So congratulations, you do this entire event and what do you get? One single. It's disgraceful. It is honestly super disgraceful. This part is good though. It does require you to collect a lot of glory, but... Whatever. Whatever. And there goes the goddamn HDMI again. So, pausing again. Well, I can't get it back on, and the last time this happened, the whole thing crashed. So before this video gets corrupted and I can't use, goodbye everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.